So this is a quick show around of a WordPress web, uh, website. So this is our WordPress website. And here on the home page, we have a slider that clicks through. And each of these will click through to a certain page. Scroll down. This is uh, some information. I can click through to different areas of the website there. Uh, I've got a brochure to download here if I want. And then this section here pulls tidbits or little pricey, I guess you can say, from our blog area. I don't have to do anything. This happens automatically. And this section pulls um, information or excerpts from our portfolio section. Again, that happens automatically. And here is the footer. You can choose what you want to go in here. I've got a four column footer. So I've got testimonials um, here. I've got a fo uh, follow us on Facebook so people can easily click like if they want to follow us. This brings tweets from our, my Twitter account and then obviously contact details there. So go to top. Um, and then social media follow icons here. So the next section of interest, I guess, would be our work. I've got a section called portfolio, which is a nice little bit of functionality here. So here we've got our portfolio. Uh, people can click to see project details. So this clicks through and shows different aspects of this. Um, back to portfolio. It can also be sorted like this, brochures, uh, logo design, things like that. So it can be sorted. And obviously, if people like the page, they can click like. So that's the portfolio section. Then the news section or blog. Um, here, this is the blog index page, so it shows a little excerpt again from each uh, news item and then continue reading will take me through to the news item. Now the sidebar here, we can choose what we want to appear in here and I've got different sidebars for different sections of the website. Uh, again, people can follow or share the content, uh, which is very useful. They can also comment using a function called Facebook comments. Another area, so here's just where our service pages are. So I will click through, for example, to our website design page. And here I've got uh, text, there you go. I've got an animated GIF there showing one of the websites. And note box, again, so the sharing buttons. So how do I access the back end? I'm going to WP admin will take me through to that. You can also have a, just a link on the website so that you can access it. Conduit editor, I'm just logging in as an editor rather than administrator. Okay, so here's the back-end dashboard. Now, if I were logged in as administrator, I'd see a lot more functions here, like just changing the menu around or not. Uh, but for an editor, the things you need to see are the posts. You can edit posts, pages, you can upload media here, access to the portfolio, and access to the slides on the home page here. There's other things here like uh, checking broken links, stuff that if you were to use it would explain. So let me just show you how a page works. I'm going to look at here I can toggle different statuses. I'm going to go to published and it's sorted alphabetically. I can sort it by date or various things. Uh, I want to go actually to the page we were just looking at, the website page. So I'm going to just type in website. Seems like I have many website pages. Okay, this is the page. I click edit and go through to page. Now it's not exactly what you see is what you get but it's pretty close. How it's set up is that we set the style for, see this is paragraph here, we set that style to say what it will look like. Now I just want to go down to the front side, I'm going to view page, I'm holding control, click, and then it will open in a new tab. If I just click view page it would just uh, replace it in this tab, but I want to show both tabs. So here's my website design page. Um, here. So we've specified that that paragraph type it looks like this. 
So wherever I apply paragraph style, it will look like as I just showed you. Uh, another thing is here is, this is heading two. So if I go to the front side, we've all in the design specified the heading two will look like this with little dotty underlines. Okay. Um, to add images, so you just place the cursor where you want and go add media. So you've got a media library where all your images are. Or you can just upload files um, from your desktop or wherever and place them. Uh, obviously recommend that you have them the right size. So that's how it looks on the back side for a story. Oh, important to show, here at the bottom is an SEO function. So this is how it will look when you do a search, uh, and we can control how it looks there. So I can custom write this text here, really trying to entice people to click on the link, because it, ordinarily it will just draw the first words from the top of your article, which might not be appropriate. Uh, so that's pretty much a quick rundown of that. And then the slides, I'll just show you that on the home page. The slides, so there they are, five slides. I can add a new one or I can edit an existing one and maybe change the photo or update the link. And so it's just pretty much the same as the other one I showed you. Um, So there's the SEO bit. I add, actually add the URL there, um, but it's straightforward enough. And um, yeah, so then posts is here if I want to add some news or portfolio when I want to add portfolio items. So that's pretty much is a, is a quick rundown of, of how it is. Just it's very accessible. There's my portfolio act items. I can click on that and these start loading here. So the portfolio items I can put different images here in the gallery. So you saw how we clicked through and there was different images. So that's how we access it here. I could put just general text here. I can put which department they belong to here. Um, so as I say, quite straightforward to use.